Welcome back. We are going to check back in now with WXXV News 25's Rick Boone as we follow a serious situation in the Gulf Hills area of Jackson County. Crews there battling a fire that's threatening homes. Rick, what can you tell us in terms of new developments? Hey there, Grant. I was just trying to find out the very latest whether or not they're letting people go back into the neighborhood. So I'm getting kind of figuring that out. Can we pan over and check it out as folks are driving back into the community? Uh, yet the uh, sheriff's office is still here blocking some folks from going back. And but there's a lot of vehicles you can see right here in the shot who are still sitting on the side of the road, uh, whether or not they're allowed back into the Tallapoint Point uh, community. And let me see if I can stop a deputy on live tell No, OK. He's got stuff to do. He's got stuff to do. But I can show you the very latest on there's a little bit of smoke still coming from some of the woods right behind me of uh, this wildfire, uh, grass fire, woods fire, whatever you might want to call it, that's uh, been going on for now about uh, two hours now. Uh, we ran up on this on several roads. We're on Old Fort Bayou, by the way, uh, and we ran up on it on a connecting road where there were several woods fires, just a little bit of smoke, a little bit of flames, and then with the, just a little bit of wind, it just wished up. You can see some of this video. This happened from earlier this afternoon around the 4 o'clock hour. And it just got worse and worse and worse and continued to spread tremendously. From that point on, then it was a whole surge of uh, emergency first responder units from fire trucks to uh, police departments, sheriff's office. They got on scene, started evacuating this particular area, the Tala Point uh, housing community, started evacuating, going door to door to door to several residents, letting them know they need to move and they need to move now, even during one of our live uh, reports for you during the 5 o'clock hour. We had to go. We had to stop it and go moving. But now, right now, the flames, they're continuing to extinguish them. You see a little bit of smoke behind me. Residents are still waiting to get the go-ahead. Some residents are still able to go into the neighborhood, yet some are not. So I'm not quite sure whether or not it's some streets you can go and some streets you still can't go at this point. I tell you what, let me get off the air and get some answers for you. How about that? Uh, our Marco Bentonell is going to handle the night side portion of this uh, for you this evening. We're on top of this story on air and online reporting where you live in Jackson County. Rick Boone, WXXV News 25.